everybody, welcome to our farm. We're about to share with you one of our favorite recipes, our grass-fed, grass-finished fillets and Brussels sprouts. Let's cook. So for this meal, we'll need a few things from our market. Our organic Brussels sprouts, delicious pistachios, Eden sea salt, coconut aminos, I know it sounds wild, but wait till you taste it, organic ghee butter, and the piece de resistance, Summerfield Farms, grass-fed, grass-finished fillets. So before uh, we started dating, I was more of a, uh, you know, peanut butter and boiling water kind of gal. Like I was living the bachelorette life. I didn't need a refrigerator full of nutrient-dense food. I didn't know what that meant. But then when I met this one, and he showed me his skills in the kitchen, I got a little competitive. So now, I like to try things in the kitchen. So those that are afraid of the kitchen and cooking, don't, just try it. It's not about knowing it all. It's just about knowing what you need to make something delicious for you and your family. All right, husband, let's get to prepping. Let's prep. Let's get our prep on. So this is my stepmom's recipe. So my stepmom, Loretta, and my dad, they came into Nashville. We had fillets in the fridge, like ready to eat. We had these incredible organic Brussels sprouts. And my stepmom is masterful in the kitchen. So she just like whipped up this little recipe right there. And so we've brought it for you guys today. So it's really super simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this down to about like just shredded. We'll go with that uh, terminology. Shredded like coleslaw. Like shredded. All right, so how are you gonna season these bad okay, boys? Okay, seasoning is important. I personally like a really simple Himalayan sea salt pepper mixture. And in my brain at least, there are six sides to a steak. There's the top, there's the bottom. There are the two ends and the two sides. So I hit it on the top and I Hit it on the bottom and then each side. Thickness of steaks are really important. I like them an inch and three quarter to two inches. And the reason is, A, they stand up like that so that you can season the sides. And with grass-fed, grass-finished beef, that's super important. Grass-fed's one thing, grass-fed and grass-finished is another. That means it's only had mother's milk and grass. All right, are we ready to prep our pans? So how are you gonna prep yours? Well, you like a bit of a crust on your steak. I yes, love, you love the crunchy I love a little thinness. Crunch. I used to put too big of a dab of this amazing stuff. This is yes. organic ghee. Now what I do is I've reduced the amount of ghee that goes in. Okay. Super thin layer, okay. because when I put in a thick layer, it would kind of swim in the ghee. If you happen to get too much in there, you just pour a little bit off so that it's just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. So you're saying, if you want the crust, a little less ghee. Right. If you don't want the crust, a little more ghee. Exactly. Okay, so I'm ready to put the meat on. This is heated oh, now. Okay, you can right. see it's just cool. super lightly okay, coated. Okay. Yeah, you're this ready. will char the bottom. So now yep. I like to, if you're looking, you're not cooking. What'd so you we, say? If you're looking, you're not cooking. If you're looking, you're not cooking. So well, we put I'm that gonna... in there and then we cover it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt. This is one of my favorites. We sell this right here at the market, the Eden sea salt. This is, okay, so truly this is what my mom did. So I'm just, you know, doing my version of it. If you like a little bit more seasoning, add a little bit more salt. But the piece de resistance, <laughs> coconut amino acids. This stuff is the bomb. It's like a soy sauce without the soy. It's low in sodium, and it just gives it a nice little, oh, listen to that sizzle! I love them to be just enough soft, but not too soft. Keep that nutrient high. So how much time do you go on each side of those fillets, babe? So at an inch and three quarters to two inches thick, typically three minutes per side. Okay. So yeah, you can, there's a little trick. You can look it up online on Google that talks about the tenderness of your thumb muscle there as you Everybody go from the together. forefinger to the middle finger to the ring finger. With no finger, that's rare. Okay. All right, this would be medium rare. Middle finger is medium. You see how that gets more and more dense and tougher? You just blew my mind. And this is well done. So wow. I like to do rare and medium rare. So 
If you cook it between there and there and let it rest yep. for just a minute or two, it continues to cook. It'll be beautiful. Yeah. So I cheat every now and then on this little look. I, I will be looking, but I like to you got touch. It. And that's firming like up a bit, so I'm going to flip yeah. it. Oh, look, crust, at look at that crust. Oh, so see good. That does? Now, that was a, oh, that's, uh, see, that'll be mine, because I like it a little I bit know, crust here. So. I always take the crispy bacon. I like it. I like the crunch. And one key thing, too, is yeah. um, keeping the lid on, which traps more heat. So yes. you're cooking hot on the bottom and hot-ish on the top. So if you take that top off and you're looking, you're not yeah. cooking. Yes. If you love your grill, go get a cast iron pan and cook your steak in your cast iron pan on your grill. Eat much easier cleanup, you save gas, and then you only have to clean up a pan, which shortens the time period and gets your steak oh. looking like that. All right. Love being your helper. And, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that one's a, still a little raw for me. Okay. You want to touch that one there? Yeah, I want to feel right. it. See, and then yeah. now that's hand cool. me this back. Okay. Now feel your thumb with no finger. See there? Yeah. It's about yeah. the same yeah. consistency. That's really interesting. You guys have it's to try this. It's little... wild. Now again, I'm a big fan of taste testing along the way. Mm -hmm. And I like to get them just a little bit. So those are about perfect. Babe, these are ready. Look at that crust on that too. Got to have a little crunch. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Sometimes with seasoning, I try to find another ingredient that adds seasoning without being sodium. So I'm going to put those pistachios in a Ziploc bag and use that tequila bottle to just pound them into little teeny tiny morsels of deliciousness and put them on top of the Brussels. All right, let's plate these in each. Okay, which one's the crustier one? This one's may the crustier one. May I have that one? one? Yes, you may. Perfect. And I'm gonna get the Brussels sprouts. Now I gotta add the pistachios still, so. You can put mine right in the You love sauce. the juice. Oh. All right, babe, don't take a bite yet. I still gotta get our secret, mm. secret seasoning, some pistachios. You want me to take the first cut? Take the first cut. All right, let's see how you did. Oh, it's perfect. I don't know. Let's see. No, that's perfect for me. <laughs> Nailed it. Love it. Husband. When a plan comes beautiful. together. Beautiful. Look at that. That is a beautiful piece of meat. Born beautiful. and grazed in the USA. Cheers. Cheers. So good. Mmm. Bing. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> All right, check my vegetables. That'll do. Mmm. Pistachios are really good. So good. Mm. Nutrient dense, mm -hmm. nutrient dense. Amazing. Amazing, delicious, simple. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at Summerfield Farms with our grass-fed beef and our Brussels sprout recipe. Made right here in the market right here in the market. So come join us here at Summerfield Farms for our grass-fed, grass-finished beef. Now, let's never forget the most important ingredient with every meal is love. Love. Cheers, y'all.